welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am showing you how to remove poly gel easy, quick and safely. So keep watching if you want to see how it's done. So I've already done a tutorial on these Baby Boomer poly gel nails so I'll leave a link down below so you can check that video out. So I'm just deciding how I want to take the length down of these poly gel extensions. My natural nail underneath is quite long and I want to keep my nails long underneath so I'm making sure I'm not cutting my natural nail. So you can use tip cutters as I've shown you there, I use tip cutters to take down some of the length or you could use normal clippers. I suggest when you're using clippers don't go straight across straight away. Do two nips in either side just like that and then go along the top to nip that last little bit off. So now I'm going to show you on one nail how to remove this poly gel with a hand file and then on the other nail I'll show you how to do it using an e-file. So I'm taking a 150 grit file, it is a used file, what I mean by that is it's not a brand new fresh file so it's slightly worn down but with poly gel I find you hardly need any grit. So I'm just showing you here, while I've been filing my nail down, the poly gel does tend to gunk up your file because it's such a soft product, it does gunk up your file a bit. So just take a manicure brush and give it a scrub and it gets rid of all that out your file so you can continue to file. Poly gel is super soft so it really doesn't take no time at all to hand file this down. And what I'm doing is I'm just filing it down to a really super thin layer. Remember I used... Um, a tip for this nail so I've still got a little bit of tip left on the end so I'm just filing it down to a really super thin layer do as thin as you're most comfortable doing um, I'm quite comfortable filing down to a quite a thin layer and then I'm just scrubbing off the dust and then that's what it looks like so far so you've still got poly gel on there still got the tip we can leave it as that for now so moving on to using an e-file to remove my poly gel nail so I'm just taking a medium smooth top carbide bit and I'm just starting by debulking that nail so I'm literally running that e-file down the nail to take down the bulk of the product and you'll be able to see here the smile line from where I stuck the tip on so that's how I know that I'm down to a thin layer so I'm gonna leave it there so I'm just gonna use my manicure brush again to get rid of any of that excess dust so now I'm gonna use some pure acetone we're on a bit of cotton pad, wrap it up in tin foil. You could just leave it like that, but I absolutely love these manicure clips. They really, really help to hold that tin foil on because sometimes my tin foil can come off and it's really annoying. So I just clamp those on, it keeps them secure, and I find it makes the acetone work faster. So they've been on for five minutes now. Poly gel is a file off product but I find when you file it down to such a thin layer it comes off when you soak it with acetone which I think is a little bit more nicer and kinder to your nails rather than filing it all off right down to your natural nail plate it's nice to just take a cuticle pusher and just get rid of the last little bit of product so I'm just taking both of those foils off and you can see where it's a bit sticky at the end that's from the glue from the tip that I used so I'm just literally taking my cuticle pusher and really gently pushing off all of that poly gel and you can see it comes off super easily with a cuticle pusher, really super easy, no damage to your natural nail. So now I'm going in with a white buffing block and I'm just going over getting rid of any excess little bits of poly gel that may still be hanging on there just buffing it over it slightly just to get rid of the last little bits so I've done that again going in with my manicure brush and scrubbing off any of that dust and debris cleaning off with some cleanser applying my cuticle oil, rubbing that all over that cuticle area, all over the nail, round the edges, really hydrating that nail plate back. And there you have it, it's really quick, simple and easy. So I really hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!